Put him away when you testify at the trial tomorrow, Mr. Woodpecker. But I can't testify! Big Al could have friends. We promise to keep you safe and under police protection. I can't do it, man! I think you'll find the safe house accommodations aren't too shabby. Woohoo! Duty calls. Take care of the witness. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wanna play concentration? Soon as I sink this shot, Ossifer. Yep, I'm as safe as a bug in a rug with all this protection. Four! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, buddy. So, uh, you ready to lose your shorts? <laughs> the perimeter. I feel safer already. It's just me. Complimentary fruit from the precinct. Oh, how thoughtful. End of my shift. See ya, buddy. <gasps> That's no fruit basket. Let me out! It's you! Shut off. Three skins to detonation. Kiss your 
yourself goodbye. Ah! It's for you. Oh, you. Now you. You're not going to be the first witness I've ever missed. I'm the best there is in the business. I have no equal. There is none greater than I. Would you get the door, please? <laughs> Your Honor, that's the guy who stole my car. And that's the guy he hired to make sure I didn't make it here to say that's the guy who stole my car. This is a oh, tissue of lies. Can you prove he tried to stop you from getting here today, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> Exhibit A! Need I say more? What are you looking at? It would be a pleasure to testify against him at the next trial. Trial is set for a week from tomorrow! Of course, we're going to have to put you in another safe house, Woody. No problemo! And here's the one I want. Yep, a guy could get used to this kind of justice. <laughs> Sail the seas, see the world. Free grub? Oh boy, that's for me. Where's all the grub? Waits for me! You got the wrong sailor! Ooh, a costume sea party. Cha-cha-cha. Now that's something I could get into. Roll call! The food line! Okey? Yeah. Corky? Hello. Thompson? Thompson. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, Thompson. Thompson! <laughs> and someone, Captain Redwood, calls your name Thompson? Hold on. I'm not Thompson. What do you mean you're not Thompson? Picked you up at the dock like you wanted. Ah, oh, this is getting boring. I'm here for the free food. <laughs> If you're not Thompson, what be your name then? Arr. It be Woody. Arr, me hearty. That's a fine sailing name. Uh, but where's your sea leg? S sea leg? Aye, sea leg. Every real pirate's got a sea leg. Don't we, mateys? I can't. I've got two good ones above left, unfortunately. He's not a pirate, Captain. No, sir. He's one of those, um, land creatures. Hey, I'm no landlubber. Captain, he took your sword. Get my sword! Right, Get my cat back his sword! He be the infamous pirate, Woody Muckpacker, scourge of the seven seas. Got us a stowaway, and you know what that means. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no not no, as no, such, no. no. What happens when you do something wrong? <laughs> we get punished? Exactly! So we should. Um, punish him! Punish him! Hmm, can't do that. I don't know how to do that. Oh boy, let's tar and feather him! But I've already got feathers! Oh, and we don't have no tar! Tea! 
take him to the rack! Yay! Time to the rack! Aw, oh, shoot, guys. I'm too short to tie to the rack. I'll just go home now. Not so fast there, lad lover. Hmm. I mean, arr. The plank! We'll have him walk the plank! The plank, the plank, the plank! All righty. Now walk. Some vacation this is. And no food. to you guys. How? Well, I'm a woodpecker. A woodpecker? What's a woodpecker? I don't know. No, oh, we don't need no stick and woodpecker! Oh. Look! Ooh, pretty. Uh, can you do a skull and crossbones? Ah, ah, there ain't nothing like a pint of ale. Oh, uh, that's uh, ginger ale, kiddies. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Captain? Well, um, have we raided other ships? Yeah. Um, plundered? Oh, yes. Have we sang that Yo-Ho-Ho -ho song? I believe so, sir. Oh, then I guess there's nothing left. We've done all a pirate could do. No more adventure. What about a mutiny? Oh, what's that? A mutiny is like a big party, and you get to take over the ship. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about we have a mutiny party? Mutiny, mutiny, mutiny! Oh, I love a good mutiny, Arthur. No, why you? You'll pay for this. All right, swabbies. I'm Captain now, and I say we head for sure. Bye. Bye-bye now. See ya. Hate to be ya. Good riddance. So long. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. Oh, so long. So long. Yeah. Huh? Oh, boy. Free grab. Smorgasbord. That's for me. No, Ollie, don't! It's all a cruel trick! The pirates! And the ships! With the rack! And the plank! Tar and feathered! I finally... They were ghosts, man! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! Ghost pirates! <laughs> Crazy woodpecker! <laughs> no! Wait! Oh, no. Not again. All you do is eat and eat, but you never pay a dollar. Now get out for good. And by Yam Ben Yemeni, don't come back anymore. You, you moocher. Oh, a moocher, am I? Well, moocher buys to you. He's got a nerve, throwing a guy out on an empty stomach. I'll find another boarding house. Uh-oh. Lonesome bachelor wishes to meet refined lady. Object, not try it, money. Can offer fine home and lots of good wholesome food. Phone, Wally Walrus, asthma, 4343. What a coincidence. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is Bali Valrose. Well, this is Clementine. I saw your ad in the paper. Ah, that's good. Uh, young lady, are you refined? Am I refined? I'm 110 octane. Now don't go away. I'll be right over. Goodbye. <laughs> Ah, 
what a beautiful name. And by golly, she's coming to see me too. Sweet and dainty, like a fairy, and her voice is so divine. Like a feather in the weather, she's my darling Clementine. <laughs> To meet you. And my name is Valrus, but <laughs> you, you can just call me Plain Valley, yeah, sure. Okay, you cute little Valley, Valley, Valley. <laughs> Girlie, she is plenty wonderful. <laughs> Get started. Mm, 
<laughs> ah, my spring cleaning is done. I feel so peaceful when everything is in its place. Hi, neighbor. Time to return some stuff I buried. No! Nice catch, Wally. Thanks for nothing. If you never darken my door again, it'll be too soon, Woodpecker! A freak spring snowstorm has hit the Tri-County area. Neighbors should look out for one another, as this storm could last for a few weeks. Yeah. Oh, this can't happen. Oh, no, 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 weeks, no, weeks. Oh, no, 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 Okay, listen here, Woodpecker. If you gotta be a guest in my house, then you live by my Swedish cleanliness code, you bet. Look, I didn't ask to get stuck here either. So just don't uh, get me involved in any of your Swedish shenanigans and you won't even know I'm here. It's a deal. This week on As the Bread Rises, Mike and Michelle realize nothing makes their love stronger than getting abducted. Wally, the TV's gone out from the storm. What will we do with no TV? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Poof! You snow more with the noisy and the messy, yeah? Must be calm. Woodpecker! Uh, let me just, uh... Good as new. Woodpecker. Woodpecker! Enough with the boom boom twang. Hey, Wally, what are you doing? I'm alphabetizing all my photo slides by the articles of clothing I was wearing in each shot. I'm going to check the order if you'd like to watch. Gee, can I? Yeah, and here I am at Mount Sweetmore in my checkered suit. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll never forget this one. The National Fjord watching show where I wore my fuchsia parachute pants every day. Oh yeah, here I am at the Swedish leg waxing competition in my daisy yellow fisherman's hat. <gasps> Wait a minute! This slide is out of order! Oh no, now we gotta start at the beginning again. Yeah. Wally, buddy, I can't take it anymore. Pull yourself together, woodpecker. <laughs> Want now, Woodpecker? Wanna play sharks? Be not playing sharks. <laughs> Come on, Wally, buddy. We've been cooped up here for a week. You'll love it. The ground is the sea, and the furniture is the land. Yeah, sure. So, uh, even this coffee table is land? You are a natural. Now just stay out of the water, or else. Or else what? Or else the shark will get you. Shark? Shark! I help you, little buddy.
Daddy. The only way to feed him is on his own turf. But how? I know. My childhood crib in the attic. Shark, we beat the shark. Told you it was a great game. <gasps> Wally, look! Woohoo! Snow's gone, and so am I. Oh, yoinky doinky. <laughs> How about you mounted over the fireplace? No! That's right, folks. We've been hit with more snow. Ah, there's nothing like a little more winter to really bring people together. Stinks. <sighs> Winnie's salon is killing my wig shop, Con. I gotta get me some of her customers. Oh, a day of beauty. <laughs> Hairdresser wanted. Hmm, I know just the guy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leroy, and I'm your man for the job. Well, I sure could use the help. I'm swamped. How about me and Peachy going first? Is there any way you could squeeze me in first? No, me. Please, Winnie. You're hired. You just let me know if you need anything, and I'll check on you later. The only thing I need is some of your customers. I'll give him a shampoo that'll make him wig out for sure. <laughs> Follow me, ladies. We'll get you washed first. My hair must be handled with great care. I want Peachy's hair the same as mine. I need a shampoo and a leg wax. <laughs> and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, I cracked me up. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> like I'm gonna be. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just uh, fine. Uh, you just relax now. May I look in the mirror? Can I have a look, too?
What's happened? She made me go bald! Why, that's terrible. Well, you obviously have no experience in the hair business. Come with me, ladies. I know just how to help you. My uh, brother uh, can fix you gleaming gals up as good as new. What happened? Now I've lost all my best customers. Girl, you look marvelous. Wait a minute. I got it. It matches your red lips. Oh, does it? I've got just the one for you. Madam, that's totally you. This con is waking great. Shiny scalps equals mom's moolah. <laughs> now to steal some more of Winnie's customers. I just don't understand how this happened. I didn't do anything differently today. Yo-ho, oh Winnie. Huh, she must have left. Oh, the better for me. So that's what it was. He's no hairdresser. He's a hair undresser. If you want to make it in the hair business, you gotta know how to cut it. This buzzard's gonna get what's coming to him. Ladies, wait. I can explain your hair. It wasn't my fault. It was that phony buzzard Leroy. Come on, I'll prove it. There's the culprit! Caught in the act! All this in the name of dirty wig money! Get your shaggin' machine in! Oh, ladies, please. Give me some air. I feel faint. You don't believe that nasty woodpecker over moi? Prove it! Go on, pretty boy! Shut up! and I finally match. Look how silky and smooth my legs are now, thanks to your shampoo. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Step right up, folks. All the tape, on the banana. See the greatest, the most colossal, the most stupendous, the most gigantic, the most sensational. To the animal fair, the birds and beasts were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his open hair. Stubby. 
monkey, he got drunk and climbed the yellow trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. Then what became of the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk, the monk? Well, who cares? Now listen, buddy. If you want to see this show, you got to wake. See? Okay, okay. Well, what a dead elephant. All done, big boy. Now, my friend, when I get through with you, any similarity between you and a woodpecker will be purely coincidental. <laughs> Boss, the culinary critic will have a review of Winnie's Big City Bistro in no time. Big City, my foot. These small town places are never like the joints in the big city. I'm sure it'll close down just like all the other restaurants do after I review them. <laughs> but enough dilly dallying. I've got a job to do. Ta da! My first day in business. It's so exciting being a restaurateur. Why, howdy, and hi there. 
I'm sale. My first customer. Whoops, be right back. <laughs> Winnie's Big City Bistro. Hi, Betty. What? The famous culinary critic is coming here today? <laughs> An inside tip? Uh-huh. Always comes in disguise, but uses double initials when placing a reservation. Von for Volley Volrus. Volley Volrus? Betty, double initials. It's the critic. Fame and fortune, here I come. Mr. Volley Volrus, what a pleasure. I want the best food, with no salt. I am terribly allergic to the salt, yeah? And I also want a window seat with clean window. One window seat with clean window and hold the salt. Coming right up. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Volrus, to a wonderful seat and a perfect view. Excuse me, miss! I'll be back. How do you like Winnie's Big City Bistro so far? Look at this stain. I can't eat here. Oh, no, no, please wait. <laughs> at Winnie's Big City Bistro, the customer is always right. I'll be right back with appetizers. Oh, my goodness. My appetizers. Coming! Our appetizer of the day, sea salted calamari. I said no salt! Excuse me, I don't think I ordered this. <laughs> Gee, I, I guess if it's on you, then it's, it's, it's on us. <laughs> oh, calamari all over one customer, salt in the critic's food. Ma'am, I'm ready to order. <laughs> oh. I'll have some of this pasta. <laughs> and an extra serving of garlic bread. You're not the only person in this restaurant! Have a seat and I'll be right with you. <coughs> Appetizers for the most discriminating appetite. Mmm. I'd like some of the pasta I smell. Uh, of course, sir. Oh, ma'am! Here! Good pasta. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the head the lobster at Winnie's Big City Bistro is fresher than anywhere else in town. So, what do you think? Miss, can I have some soup, please? The one soup for you. Matress, there is the turf for my surf and turf. <laughs> Trust, I would like something else. How was your lobster? What else have you got that's good? Whoa! Uh, try this uh, and this and uh, these and those. This, this. Do you hear me? It's too salty now. Me? Uh, well, if that's all you have, then I'll be going. Wait, Mr. Walrus, uh, you haven't tasted uh, my soup. You're done, dearie. Salt! I'm allergic to the salt! culinary critic. I wore this disguise so I could get in partial service, which I must say I have. <gasps> You're 
you're the critic? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for the way I've treated you. Where's the fire? In my eyes, that's where. I'll give you water, you no good critic and posturing bully. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to make this up to you, free dessert. Your own special reserve table. The truth is, I, I was just working as hard as I could for a good review. And a good review you'll get. What? This place is amazing. It has all the hustle, the bustle, and the pesky patrons of the best big city restaurants. You liked it? The atmosphere was authentic. I can see the review now. Culinary critic raves. Winnie's Big City Bistro is perfect for people wanting a taste of the big city in their own backyard. Customers will be lining around the block. Newsflash, everybody. It's romantic. It's authentic. Daddy, it's you're not going to believe what happened. I'm a hit. <laughs> Mother Nature. Ah, uh, I'm not here. Oh, yes, you are. You can't fool Mother Nature. <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. <laughs> No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me! Please, Mother Nature. I gotta be promoted back to woodpecker! Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. All right, let's get this show on the road. Where are the drinks and sandwiches? Uh, uh m Mother Nature told me to expect you, uh, sit down! We pigeons have been having a problem regarding our uh, uh, coverage. As you can see, statues are down by 23%. Our coverage on cars has maintained a, a, a constant increase, uh, but, but there is always room for improvement. Now let's get going! <laughs> Oh, I see. First day, and you're already uh, slacking, huh, smart guy? Now you shake your tail feathers, or I'll see you never get a promotion back to a uh, woodpecker. Now get busy on those statues. I knew you were a slacker from the word wood. How do you expect to cover your area now? All done, sir. That's impossible. Coverage complete, sir. Yeah, but you ain't. Uh, how did you? Oh, that has got to be a pigeon record. You're up to something, and when I find out what it is, I will see you demoted to Dodo Bird. Okay, pigeons. Starting today, the company is bringing back an old pigeon standby. We're mounting a carrier pigeon squadron once more. Hey, but this time, no more little messages tied to the leg. This is the era of pigeon delivery. Well, guess I better get going. Can't talk now. There's work to be done and no time for fun. To New York, to Detroit, to Cleveland, to Seattle, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. Oh, Bora Bora! Well, I finished my deliveries. Might as well enjoy some of that off time at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. We'll have this business licked in no time. Where is that good-for-nothing woodpecker? I have you now. You. Uh, busted now, mister. What is this? Well, sir, I did forget to deliver one package. It was returned to sender. Oh, you...
Nimrod. Th this was just across town. Follow me, and I'll show you how a real pigeon delivers. <laughs> he sure is heavy. <sighs> What took you so long, Mac? Beauty. You're up to something, Woodpecker. And mark my words, I will bust you if it's the last thing I ever do as a pigeon! Apparently, we have some competition from these guys, your swallows. They're moving in on our crumb-gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon! Step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up. Free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, Joy. Oh, boy. I love my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, uh, well but, but I've already promoted him. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something! Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug, how about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. <sighs> this is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature! Why, what a pleasant surprise! I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to peck. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo! Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations. You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, Woodpecker, I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second! Wait, wait, wait! Don't leave me like this! No! We're all very beautiful. Twenty years ago. what they wanted. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, girls, I have a magic wish for the little princess. I wish that she... A very is... good idea. As a good fairy of wisdom, my wish will bring her knowledge. And... <laughs> and with my magic power, I wish to give her everlasting beauty. <laughs> and I, I shall endow her with riches and great wealth. But girls, you're forgetting that without me, you can do nothing. I am destiny. Oh, you and your old destiny. Always bragging about yourself. Yes, always bragging about what you are. Oh, it's the mailman, the 
Is that on her 15th birthday, your little princess will prick her finger on a spindle and fall asleep for a hundred years? Yeah! <laughs> and so that the cursed wish could never come true, the king had all the spinning wheels and spindles destroyed. Fifteen years later, the little princess had become a beautiful maiden. And one day, while snooping through the castle tower, come in. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm spinning, dearie. Would you like to try it? No, nope. I don't want it. Oh, it won't hurt you much. Come on and try it. Uh-uh. I don't want to. Look, it says in the book, you gotta prick your finger and go to sleep. But I'm not sleepy. And besides, I don't want to. Look, I've been waiting for 15 years. And now you say, I don't want to. Oh, yes, is that fair? Oh, well, if you're going to feel that way about it, here goes. Ouch! Come back in a hundred years, folks, and see me wake up. <laughs> revenge! Revenge! So the princess slept for almost a hundred years. One day, the good fairies were cleaning house, and they found the lost letter under the rug. We found it under the rug! So you were invited after all. You've done a terrible wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad girl. What'll I do? Only oh, a lover's, lover's kiss will awaken the princess. I wish, uh, I wish that the nearest prince will come to her rescue. <laughs> Biscuit. Whoa! Gosh, what's got into me? I feel foolish. It must be love. Hello. 
Are you the sleeping beauty? The sleeping beauty? Are you the sleeping beauty? Are you her? <laughs> no, I'm not the sleeping beauty. Look. Gosh. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Magnificent. She's pretty good looking, <laughs> ain't it? W what do I do now? Kiss her, you dope. <laughs> Who, me? Oh, <laughs> I'm too bashful. <laughs> I ain't never kissed a girl, a girl, a girl. I ain't never indulged in osculation. Look. It says in the book you gotta kiss her and you gotta kiss her. Ever, ever, ever. It's only got married. <laughs> <laughs> 